Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain you about bullet gem. Okay. And before we go into depth, what this is, why we are doing this and everything about it. Uh, I want to explain you one thing, uh, which is I'm doing an experiment with this sort of video. And uh, I would like really like to know if this helps help you guys or not. So what I've done is I have already created a GitHub. Why is this loading? Okay, I have already created a GitHub repo for this bullet chip demo. Now in this repo, it only contains the problem part. It doesn't contain the solution that we will be doing. Okay, or the solution that we'll be learning. I mentioned the set of instructions details. I mentioned the problem, the solution, uh, and what we want to do. At the same time, if you end up going, like once you clone this repository, you can go to search and use to do type to do here and in this you'll see various to do's you just have to follow them in a specific order so if we go to first it's a read only comment so just read it understand this and let's let it go second is also read only third is also read only fourth is also read only and fifth is finally the step that you want to do and so on and in this we have total 11 steps okay uh, so why i'm doing this is because I would like you to go through this repo first, follow these 11 steps and see if you can solve this problem on your own and understand this problem on your own at the same time. Uh, if this works, that would be really grateful because this will, in this you won't be just watching a video, you will get practical knowledge and hands-on knowledge on your own. And uh, it's, it's much better than watching a video and then applying solution. Uh, in this, I would encourage you apply the solution, then watch the video so that I can explain in better. So at this point, if you want, you can pause this video and set this up. Uh, RT4914 is my GitHub username. Bullet jump demo is the repository name. <coughs> Sorry. And in this, you can follow these to do steps. Okay. Now let's focus on the solution problem and everything. So let's start our server okay by the way i'm using uh, tailwind css in this and that's why you will have to use bin slash dev rather than rails server so that our css also compiles okay refresh okay so this is our website which has like six users and each user has multiple hobbies we can say swimming painting reading writing and all those things right so the way this current code is written it looks good and everything is fine but it is not an optimized code i'll explain you why if we go to our code and if we have a look at this code you see we are fetching all the users so this is first query okay using this we are making one transaction with our database so one remember this if we go to index we are using that instance variable users and using that we are showing the list of all our profiles right one two three four five six and in that then you are going to each and every user and sort of displaying all our hobbies also so user dot hobbies we are doing this this is another transaction with the database okay so there are six profiles that means this code will get executed six times in this loop so in the end, we can say that there are total seven queries, one to fetch all the users and seven, uh, six more to fetch hobbies for each individual user. So in total, we ended up with seven database transactions. And that's why it is not an optimized uh, solution. And uh, for this type of problem, we say N plus one, which is N is number of users. Uh, so we had six users, so it was n was 6 here and 1 is fetching the users itself so it's that's why it's called n plus 1 query problem how do we solve it we can solve it using includes hobbies okay and refresh it will still remain the same so visually you won't see any notice any change but this is just one single database query and because this at the users already includes hobbies when we write this, it is not making a transaction with the database. It is directly using it from instance variable. 
So that's the advantage. We have reduced seven transactions to one in this specific example. So basically we have eliminated n number of queries. n plus one, I hope you are you have understood what n plus one means now. Okay, so if it is a n plus one problem, we would like to uh, fix it in one query. Okay, so we have understood the problem, we have understood the solution, but how do we tackle this? Okay, we might miss this easily when writing the code, right? Uh, and this is a simple code, but it can get complex at various stages. So let's remove this. And then now we can use a gem called bullet. Let's follow these steps. One is read only. I've already explained. I won't go in detail. Uh, two is read only. Three is read only. Fourth is read only. Let's go to fifth. So I've already mentioned this URL and sixth, seventh, eighth steps, but let's go bullet gem rails. Let's open this. Follow the steps mentioned here. Uh, by the way, we add this gem only to the, to the development group. No, uh, we can add it to test group also, but don't add it to production because we don't want these issues on production. So let's add it to our gem file. You can directly add bullet gem in here also. I'm doing it right now here. Once that is done, stop your server, clear, let me increase the text size, bundle, install. We can install the bullet gem. Yes, I want to enable this, clear. Now let's start bin slash dev. Remember that I had reverted this code to original state. Now, if I run this, we can see that it is showing error. What? User, Rajat Alistra, okay. This is the first user that you had. User, use eager loading detected. Add to your query. This is the solution that, had, that they have mentioned. Uh, just to show, show this to you clearly, we are getting this error in our alert. We are getting this error in our terminal, okay? And we might get this error in our console also. Right click is not working. Okay, I'm not fully sure yet. So we can configure this a bit in our development.rb file. Add footer true. I will do that. And I will remove the alert. I don't want this alert to pop up. So let's refresh. Okay. Because it's a config, we will have to restart our server. refresh and now we can see that bullet warnings are here so in product uh, so in during development i like to have errors here and not here because sometimes i might delay solving them right and if you click on it it will show you what to do okay now let's go to our query dot directly copy this just to keep it simple okay now restart it restart and now we can see there are no errors if we go to our terminal then also there are no errors so yeah that's it that's the bullet jam and uh, let me know if this type of format suits you that we write the code we uh, i create the demo problem you apply the solution by, by following the to-do steps i mentioned all the explanations also and after that you watch the video and if if this does help uh, value to you uh, i would be really grateful and if it doesn't work out then i'll see what what how i can add value in uh, teaching and uh, yeah just to be clear this took like four minutes to explain what the problem is and solving it but uh, i had to work on this like creating the project the repo, committing uh, the code, creating readme, adding to do's took like two to three hours of work. So it does require a lot of efforts. So yeah, do let me know your thoughts. Thank you. Bye-bye.